seven-year-old male, first named Bobby. He was found lying next to an overturned ATV, and he was moaning in pain. Uh, parents were not present, so we don't have a history. Uh, neurologically, uh, his GCF score was 12. Respiratory, oh. static 92 on an armor breather with 100% oxygen, and respirate is 28. Cardiovascular wise, the child is quite pale, uh, tachycardic with heart rate 150 to 160, and our last BP was 90 over 68. For access, we have the 1IO in the right leg, and then we just finished pushing a 20 mil per kilo normal saline bolus. Excellent, thank you very much. Uh, Laurent, do you mind starting a primary survey? Yeah, sure. And Lauren, just make sure all the monitors are on. And once you're finished that, if you can get a second IV, that would be excellent. So also, we'll no, that's okay. Also, Lauren, uh, if you don't mind sending some blood work, a trauma panel, as soon as you get that IV, um, that would be appreciated. Yes? I have a weight of 25 kilos. So 25 patient, kilos on the Roswell tape? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, we, uh, do you mind pushing a bolus of 20 cc's per kilo normal saline? Sure. Thank you very much. Let me know when it's in. Like if you have a second temperature. Yes. Oh. Thank you. See there, Bobby. I have a little. I have a good bilateral oh. symmetric tree. No sign of chest trauma. Cat refill is more than four seconds. Texas are weak. 36.2. Cold extremities. The abdomen is really distended. I got a 20 gauge IV in his right AC. Yeah. And I have all your blood for your blood panel. Okay, this is stable. Okay. And we do have on the left side something looking like a closed left femoral oh. fracture. Okay, thank you very much. Lauren, can you put the... Uh, or actually, Christina, yeah. do you mind turning the heat on uh, sure. in the room? Sure. Looks like uh, we have a pretty significant injury here, and it looks like there's some significant blood loss. He's very tachycardic oh. and hypotensive at the moment. Uh, so we'll continue giving that 20 cc per kilo bolus. Oh. As soon as you can hand that off to Christina, do you mind please initiating a code transfusion? And also calling critical. Uh, this patient will need to be transferred. Heather, the just been turned up in the room. And I'm gonna push all the fluids down to the hotline. Thank you very much. Do you want me to immobilize the leg? Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to check for the material. Okay. I'll call critical. Sorry. It still looks not too bad. Great. And you just had a 100% non rebreather there? 100% non rebreather. It's at 96. Okay, thank you very much. Dr. Riley, I paid, I called the code transfusion overhead, mm -hmm. and I called critical. They're going to call us back. Thank you very much. Lauren, can you help me from the leg? Yep. Yeah. I'm just going to wrap up your leg, Bobby. Bobby, you still there? Bobby? Like he was. Okay. Good. Is he is he responding to verbal or physical stimuli? Bobby? No, it's not. So it looks like we've had a significant change in his GCS. Uh, we're likely going to have to intubate this uh, yeah. guy. So, um, Laura, do you mind calling yeah. anesthesia to get them down here to help us with a, an intubation? Okay. I'll call them. I'll call anesthesia. Thank you. And uh, Mike, yes, just assist his breathing there. Okay. Blood is here, code number one. Excellent, thank you very much. You want me to go and grab the protocol for the massive hemorrhage? Please, let's yeah. grab the protocol. And uh, Christina, yeah. um, as soon as you can, if you don't mind opening up this uh, cooler, uh, and we can see if there's some blood in there that we can give this vial. Yeah, I got the protocol. Excellent. So how much blood should we be giving this? So we need to start with 20 ml per kilo, so our patient is 25 kilo, so it's 500 ml of cross match MBC. Thank you very much. Okay, Tina, do you mind uh, just checking that blood and uh, giving us a call? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you.
at Cape Anesthesia, he's on the way. Fantastic. And I see that you've gotten some medications there uh, for intubation. Yes. Uh, wonderful. Hey, Glenn, from anesthesiology. Hi, Glenn. Thank you very much. Um, so we called you here to help with an intubation. Uh, we have a, a young child who was in an ATV accident. Um, his GCS is now less than 8, and he is in hypovolemic shock secondary to what we think is um, significant bleeding from his abdomen and his leg, which we've now immobilized. Okay. We've given him uh, a second 20 cc per kilo bolus of fluid after the first from EMS, and we're just about to start blood. Okay. Mike is going to get some uh, intubation equipment ready for you, uh, appropriate to his size, and Lauren has brought some medications for uh, induction. Okay. Um, I believe she's got some ketamine, succidylcholine, some epinephrine for uh, resuscitation, and a saline flush. So as soon as we start the blood uh, transfusion, um, we'll get ready for the intubation, but he is hemodynamically unstable, so we'd like to start that um, while we're preparing everything. So just let me know when you think uh, you are ready for intubation. I and, think I'm actually uh, ready, so why don't you let me know when you want me to go ahead. Excellent, excellent. And I'm going to need it in line. Uh, yeah, I can help. Okay. So he has, a, he has a collar, so if you guys could do some inline stabilization, yeah. just to remove, uh, remove the, the collar yeah. um, so that you can uh, intubate uh, more easily and hold inline stabilization yeah. during the intubation. All right. So how much ketamine do you want me to give him? So because he is still hemodynamically unstable, let's go with the one milligram per kilogram dose of ketamine. Okay. I believe you also have succinylcholine there. We'll go yeah. with two milligrams per kilogram of that. Okay. So the order will be ketamine followed by succinylcholine, but don't give it until I tell you. Okay. And we're starting the blood there, Christina. Yeah. Excellent. So let's uh, give that first push, and we'll start the induction if you're ready, Clint. I'm ready. Excellent. So Lauren, uh, let us give uh, one milligram per kilogram of ketamine. So that's 25 milligrams of ketamine. Are you ready now? Yeah. I got 25 mics of ketamine in. Excellent. Let's follow um, immediately, immediately by succinylcholine. So we'll give 2 milligrams per kilogram of succinylcholine. That's a total of 50 milligrams of succinylcholine. So we have uh, diluted epinephrine ready, is that correct? Yep. Okay, so we took a 1 in 10,000 uh, vial of epinephrine and diluted 1 cc with 9 cc's of normal saline, is that right? That's what I did, yeah. Excellent, so we have 10, cc, uh, 10 mics per cc of uh, epinephrine ready. We okay. won't give it yet, but if we need to, we'll give 10 mics, so 1 cc of that epinephrine. And your 50 of sucks is in now. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, I think you can stop breathing, muscle relaxed. Yeah, and so your is your blood. Wonderful. Okay. 
you want 10 mics of empty now? Yes, please. Okay, let's go through our massive hemorrhage protocol cognitive aid. So we have identified the source. Right, so his abdomen and his leg, and yeah. he mobilized his leg. Yeah, and we are going to check the spine after. Uh -huh. uh, we have two good ID access. Uh, you did the TA. Christina mentioned it, we haven't given it yet. Okay. So I think as soon as Lauren is ready, can you go grab some trans acid? And we're going to give a bolus dose of 30 milligrams per kilogram. Uh, and then we're going to follow that with an infusion. But we'll give 30 milligrams per kilogram first. I'll grab that first. Thank you very much. I gave that 10 mics of epi. Thank you. And should we consider the calcium glucanate? That's also a very good idea. So as soon as Lauren gets back with the transoxenic acid, I'm going to ask her to come uh, and get some calcium glucanate. And it looks like we need to give a 60 milligram per kilogram dose of calcium glucanate. Okay. And the temperature is good for the patients? We'll check it once. Yeah. So we do need to proceed with giving the second 20 cc kilo, uh, 20 cc mil per kilo uh, transfusion uh, of blood. Uh, let's see what else we have to do here. So um, our INR was 1.9. So uh, it is time that we give some plasma or some PCC. I believe. Do we have plasma? Yeah, I have plasma. So you want me to get the plasma first, and then the rest of the PRBCs? I have, if you give the the blood first, yeah. followed by the plasma. Okay, so the okay. first box of blood went through. Do you want this second box I of blood? I want the second box of blood, followed by the plasma. Okay, thank you. So we'll give a second 20 cc per kilo dose of blood, okay. followed by, it looks here, a 10 mil per kilo or 10 cc per kilo dose of plasma. 10 cc per kilo. Okay. okay, so that would be 250 mils of plasma after the second 500 mil bolus of blood goes in. Thank you. Um, we have called x-ray, yes, they're not here yet. And I did start with TXA. Excellent. So that uh, bolus is going in. Yeah. So as soon as the, the transistemic dose is in, let me know and we'll start an infusion at 10 milligrams per kilogram. So I don't think we gave the calcium we talked about. No. We didn't. No. Okay. So as soon as, Lauren, as soon as you have free hands, uh, can you go get some calcium gluconate? Excellent, thank you very much. The fibrinogen actually, I didn't know it was 1.3. 1.3. Yeah. So it's less than 1.5. So uh, we should get some fibrinogen concentrate yeah. as well. I believe that comes in our second cooler. Can we double check the yeah. steps there? I got one. Yeah. Excellent. So it looks like we need to give a dose of 50 milligrams per kilogram. Okay. So as soon as Lauren has finished uh, giving the calcium gluconate, uh, we will uh, ask her to draw that up for us. Okay? So just hold on to yeah. it and give it to her when ready. So uh, just to recap, um, we have a seven-year-old uh, young man uh, in significant hemorrhagic shock secondary to an ATV accident with significant abdominal and uh, leg injury. Um, we've called critical because we know we need to transfer this, this guy to a um, hospital that can uh, take um, care of him from a surgical perspective. Um, so hopefully they call us back soon so that we can initiate transfer. We are working on our second 20 cc per kilo bolus of blood, followed immediately by plasma uh, as his INR is elevated. We've given calcium gluconate and we're working on giving transoxemic acid. The, war the room is being warmed, but we can also put a, a blanket warmer on this uh, child. So if you could go, Lauren, and get us a blanket warmer, yeah. that would be great. As soon as you get back, I'm going to ask you to draw up uh, some fibrinogen concentrate, okay, which we have right here. Okay? okay? I'll grab the bear. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. 
guys. Um, what else are we missing? Anything? That seems pretty good. Okay. Okay, so um, a lot's gone on in the, in the last 20 minutes. Um, critical called back, Orange is on the way, so we're uh, on our way to getting this guy transferred to a hospital that can uh, take uh, care of him from here on. Uh, just to recap, we're intubated. Uh, we did uh, get an x-ray, tube is in the right position. Uh, you're doing a great job uh, bagging him. Um, we gave one dose of ketamine, and I don't think we've given any more, so um, Lauren, shortly I'm going to ask you to draw up some more ketamine, uh, as well as uh, some longer acting muscle relaxant rocaronium, both to give him now, as well for transfer when our orange team arrives. Sorry, okay. whether we have ECG changes again. ECG changes, okay. Um, we did give, give a lot of blood. We gave 20 cc's per kilo times uh, two. So this young child is at risk for having hyperkalemia. Our blood work is not back yet, um, but I think we should uh, treat on spec and give him some calcium glutamate to start. I know we gave one dose a while ago, but we should give another. Uh, so let's just double check that dose. So it's 60 milligrams per kilo. 60 per kilo. So that's one grade. Uh, or do you mind drawing up some calcium glutamate? And we'll give that immediately. It has to stabilize those cardiac membranes. And Heather, I have some blood work for you now. Okay. You want me to I have yes, Uh, 
and uh, a significant left leg fracture with significant um, bleeding associated, which we have immobilized. 